Welcome to Express, the Alfie podcast, where industry leaders express their points of view on topics that affect the fund industry in Luxembourg and around the world. My guest today is Luki. She is partner at Deloitte in Luxembourg and chair of the Alfie subworking group International Distribution. The cross-border distribution activities, Mr. Kish, is at the crossroads. What are the trends that you see emerge? Well, there are three different components to the trends with regards to cross-border distribution at this very moment. Uh, it's the product evolution on one hand, uh, it's the evolution of the distribution activity, and last but not least, uh, as well, the ongoing uh, regulatory changes uh, that we face. We have uh, used its full behind us, we digested it very well, uh, and we have the MIFID review uh, and the PRIP uh, ahead of us. Uh, and the amalgamation of these uh, three components uh, will define the way uh, forward, but there's all reasons to believe that that will be handled in a very positive way going forward. And what role will Luxembourg play in this changing environment? Well, Luxembourg has always been very innovative when it comes to distribution. Uh, it's, so to say, our bread uh, and butter. There is no hub in the whole world uh, which uh, supports more cross-border distribution activity uh, than uh, Luxembourg. You have to know that nowadays we do not only support Luxembourg domicile uh, funds uh, with regards to cross-border distribution services, but as well Irish uh, domicile funds, French domicile funds and UK domicile funds, even Cayman domicile funds uh, out of Luxembourg. So there is a savoir faire with regards to the cross-border distribution activity within this country, uh, which is surely unique. And what will be the uh, impact of the AIFMD on Luxembourg and its distribution activity? The impacts on the AIFMD are, to my eyes, a blend of the two previous points that I, I made. Uh, it's a question of being innovative and it is a question of applying uh, the current savoir faire that we have within our distribution um, activity uh, to uh, the alternative uh, investments. Now, there is a different uh, uh, different um, uh, between uh, the AIFMD and the USITS, the USITS being uh, a passport uh, for products, whereas the AIFMD is obviously uh, a passport uh, for uh, alternative investment uh, fund managers. Uh, that being said, uh, with the infrastructure that we have in place uh, to support the distribution uh, activities uh, and uh, the different uh, alternative uh, investments which hopefully will uh, settle here in Luxembourg, uh, we have the savoir faire uh, and the procedures uh, and the infrastructure to leverage uh, from uh, our usage knowledge to apply uh, to uh, the alternative investments as well. So there's all reasons to believe that the future uh, looks eventually reasonably good for the mutual fund industry here in Luxembourg. I thank you very much. You're welcome.